on this episode of Patriot Games. The twins turn 13 and get a birthday they'll never forget. Oh my God! Are you scared? No. <laughs> Go! No, 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 no! no. <laughs> The whole crew get to experience the Moab Desert in the most spectacular way possible. <laughs> it's time to grab the Jeeps and go wheeling. But this time, Justin gets a new co-pilot. Going down, Seeks. Going down, Seeks. That's it. Lock it. Lock it down hard. Have a ball. Don't kill him. I need him back. Sheet metal was my livelihood, but I never thought I'd be building gear like this. Every week, we turn tons of steel into rolling works of art. Some of the toughest gear in the world comes out of this factory. Building this gear is only half the fun. No one tests like we do. That's it, mate. Dude, I've got it. My passion has taken my family to the edges of the earth. Watch the game. We know how to play it. Patriot Games. It's just before sunup in Moab, Utah, and Justin and Sarah, owners of Patriot Campers, have a surprise early morning wake up for their twin sons, Ashton and Christian. So you know they're definitely teenagers now that we're up before them. I know. I don't know if they're going to like me waking up. <laughs> we're more excited for their, their birthday than they are. OK, let's come get them. On, let's get them up, <laughs> Jenna. Jenny and Bobby are coming down now. Can't believe the twins have just turned 13. Is there a better way to surprise them than in the back of the gooseneck? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday, Christian Ashton. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy 13th, man. Yeah. Teenagers, hey? Happy birthday, mate. The sleepy eyed pair open their presents from mum and dad. But this is just the start of an epic day for the boys. We got another present for you. So we've got to get up, we've got to get dressed, yeah? Have breakfast real quick, get in the car, and we're heading out somewhere. OK. OK? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, boys. Yay! Now, even though we're in the USA for work, there is no way I'm going to let the boys down on their 13th birthday. Hey, Ash. Hey, My name is Matthew Driscoll, and you are at Raven's Room Zipline Adventure. We're going to take Christian and Ashton on their 13th birthday up the zipline. Got to have one form for each person. Yep. It is a two-sided form. You can read it if you'd like. You only need to fill out the highlighted areas. But it does state that no one in your party is pregnant. Yep. And no one has an emotional or physical disability that may make this an unsafe activity. Yep. We need that one from everybody. We're in Moab, Utah. It's uh, southeastern Utah. We're in the high desert region and uh, about three and a half hours southeast of Salt Lake City. And we're going to go up on top that has a beautiful view at Panorama Point to be able to see 360 degrees, a beautiful commanding view of the entire region. The crew make their way up the mountain. And as the tracks narrow and the cliff faces get steeper, the more nervous everyone seems to be getting. I'm not really the adventurous type at all, but the twins being 13, come on mum, come on mum, I couldn't let them down. I do like the action stuff. The drive up, I was totally fine, but I knew that zip lining, it was up to me to fly the flag for the family because my husband is shit scared of heights. Our lines today are designed to be ridden right side up. The crew get a quick safety briefing before tackling the Moab zip lines. Apparently, zip lining hundreds of feet in the air across the boulders of Utah is safe for the whole family. But that won't stop the butterflies. Heading up to the zip line, I was really, really nervous, but with all the other girls doing it as well, I couldn't chicken out. Who's first? Me, Ashley, and then, and then us. I'm up first, I'm pumped, bring it on. Now, the twins, they never back down with anything. They're always the first ones to jump in when any challenge comes along. And in typical fashion, Ashton is the first one on the zip line. Go, shoot. Oh, my God! Oh, 
So Ashton's just gone over. Quietly, I'm starting to freak out. Are you feeling, darling? Good. Are you scared? <laughs> kind of. What are you about to do? Zip line. Zip line to where? Another rock. Awesome. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> you have a good time. Woo! <laughs> See, darling? <laughs> <laughs> that is just gold. Oh my gosh. Are you scared? No. <laughs> Go. Wait, no, 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 I can't believe we're ziplining. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. OK, let me go after him. <laughs> I don't want to be last. <laughs> You're free to go now. Yo, yo. Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Woo! I feel like you're going to hit the Perfect. nose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Mum is going to be flipping out. You're not nervous about this, are you? No, God, no. Bye. Bye. Give us a smile. <laughs> cool. My 10-year-old daughter, Mia, is so excited about doing this. I've got to show her I can do it too. How are you feeling, babe? Awesome. <coughs> are you scared? No. Do this. <laughs> OK, it's my turn. Here we go. Oh All right, you're free to go. Have fun. <laughs> <Yeah. Yoddy -o. laughs> there you go. Good job, babe. I don't know what I was freaking out about. That was so much fun. Definitely one for the girls. That is awesome! Hi. I told you, Mum. Bobby doesn't hesitate and jumps right in. But Amelia is just as hesitant as Sarah. I'm so scared. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall out. You're not going to fall out, I promise. It's my turn now, and Jamie, my partner, if I don't do it, he's going to pay me out all day. What if I flip over? You won't. It takes a lot of effort. It doesn't just happen naturally. My lace is in. That first zip line, it looked boring. Zip it, Amelia. Zip it, Amelia. Zip it. So I can let go? Yeah, you can let go and do whatever you want. Oh, sorry. I didn't see it. Oh, my gosh. Head. You ready? That thing. Does this go around like that? Either way you want just it to. Your hands down. Yep, you can just sit and start rolling. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Is that good all right, Kira, you're all right. Righto, Jamie, I've done it, and that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's happening with my hand? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Zip and Kira. Uh, Kira. I like that you have different colour socks on. Huh? Oh, thanks. I'm so glad you noticed yes. that. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, Jamie. <laughs> I told you. Really? Yeah. Go now? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I might have been acting tough on the drive up, but once we got up to the zip line, I was shaking in my boots and my mismatched socks. Thank you, Jamie, for pointing that out. Just okay. Go. Yes. Really? Okay. You good? <laughs> Woohoo! Let your hands go, real quick. Let your hands go, Kira! No. Let go! Everyone was egging me on to let go of my hands. There was no way. I was hanging on for dear life. Where'd you go? I closed my eyes so tight that I did not look. Zip on, Justin! Go, Daddy! Justin is the last to cross, and with the first zip line done, it's on to the rest of the course where the lines get longer and higher. That's actually more fun than it looks. It's fun, <laughs> the scenery after we'd done our first zip line and then started walking up over those rocks is like nothing we've ever seen before. We don't have the slick rock and the mountainous sort of areas like that around Australia. Walking with the whole team across that bridge was a bit of fun. The twins and myself started bouncing a little bit and a few people started to get a bit nervous. All right, running, go. Go, 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 
I could tell Kira was really nervous, so I took her on the zipline with me. It was so much fun. The crew continue to make their way through the zipline course. It's one of the best ways to take in the amazing Utah landscape. Yo! Yo! That, that doesn't get boring, eh? <laughs> We're on our fifth line now, and it is out of control. We want to keep going all day. Here we go. <laughs> 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 The scenery in Moab is like 360 from up here. You've got absolutely everything. We've got nothing like this at home. And um, yeah, I could literally stay up here all day. As the day progressed, the zip lines got longer, the ravines got deeper, and the scenery completely changed. It was mind blowing. It's actually surprising how much fun it actually really is. <laughs> I've been there for every one of the twins' birthdays so far, but celebrating their 13th birthday in Moab zip lining was the best so far. Flying through the air is one way to see Moab, but the Patriot Campus crew are keen to hit the trails on four wheels. It's time to go jeeping. The Patriot Campus team have been celebrating the twins' birthday in spectacular fashion. And now that they've conquered the zip lines of Moab, it's time to head into town and pick up their rides for the next few days. Now the zip lining actually turned out a much better day than I actually thought it was going to be. Everyone had a ball. But now it's time to get into what Patriot Campus is here for. I've organised with Cliffhanger Jeep Rentals three Jeeps for the boys. I'm a Toyota man. I'm a little bit hesitant about taking the Jeeps out, but I'm really keen to see what these things can do. Have they got lockers? They are, they yeah, lockers front and rear. Now I've only ever owned big cars, whether it was a Pajero, a Cruiser, a Hummer, it's all I've ever had. When I got told we were having Jeeps, six cylinder petrols, really wasn't that exciting. Can I borrow a disclaimer to get those guys to sign? That if they damage the car, they pay for it? Can I borrow one? Uh, something, that's binding, something that's binding in Australia? But we don't really have a, dis a separate disclaimer. Is there a solicitor around here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, one way we could do it is uh, we can... <laughs> now... Yeah. He's, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jeremy, a second. Uh, no, uh, well, one way to transfer responsibility is to have each person who's driving a vehicle sign a contract. Uh, because we've already got it all paid up anyways, but that would kind all of good, man. spread they'll, around they'll the They'll just walk away from so. it anyway. <laughs> and their credit cards will decline anyway. Knowing that we didn't have to put our names down, didn't have to put my licence down, and I had zero responsibility. If anything went wrong, it was in Justin's name. With the paperwork all sorted, Justin gets a quick run through on the Jeeps, and then it's back to KOA campground where the Patriot team are staying. Let's face it, we weren't going to take Heidi Zipline, so that's my good deed done for the day. Let's go test these Jeeps out. Three o'clock, no girls. Let's get out of here. Things and things, yeah? Let's yeah, well, I'm game. keen. Heard yeah. about that Doug one. was saying it was good. It's close to town. Let's roll. Let's do it. Let's Fun. get the Jeep dead. All right, do it. Oops. Grab the radio, Bobby. Christian Ashton Mayer, let's go. We're going wheeling. Come on. The first couple of days here, it's all been about the trade show. I've been absolutely itching to get out there on the tracks, and now we're finally here. It's playtime. Hey, Matty, have I got the TJM kit in the back of my truck? It's in the back of mine. Ashton's my winch man for the day, all right? <clears throat> Too bad you don't have a winch. So you know what a winch man's got to do? When we get to some obstacles that's a bit tricky, you've got to jump out and you've got to guide me and direct me where to go so that we don't roll this thing. OK. Yeah? Yeah. Can you handle that? Oh, yeah, I can handle that. That's not too much pressure for you? No. You sure? So basically, if this thing rolls, it's my fault. Yeah, when we go on trial, if we go arse over, then you're the only person we have to blame, not me. 
Because all I'm doing is driving to your direction. Okay, I got this. You feeling me, dog? Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. All right. Justin's mate Maddie is petrified of heights. He skipped this morning zip lining, but he's keen to get the lowdown from Christian, who's not giving anything away. You have fun at Angle Lines, uh, Flying Fox this morning? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah? It's great. Was it high? Huh? Was it high? Like, were you up real high? Yeah. How high? Really high. I know Maddie hates heights. It's time to play a game with him. How high is really high? 100 metres? Woo! Plus? Well, I'm on well, one of them. Were you scared? No. no. You weren't worried about falling out? No. Maddie, you on channel? <coughs> yeah, buddy. I'm not wrong with you at the back. Roger. I was looking for a hit to start with pins and things. Our first trial for the whole trip. Hopefully it's a good one. Oh, wait, actually, sorry. This is our second trial, Matt. Justin's first trial for the whole trip. Mm -hmm. Must be dusty camping there. Now, the twins have had their day. It's all been about them for the past couple of weeks. So, Mia and I, we saddled up in the TJM Jeep with all the boys and the kids behind us in the other three Jeeps. Let's get out there and see what these things are capable of. I knew we were picking up Jeeps today, but I had no idea that they would be like this. 35s, lift kit, twin lockers on them. I knew these things were gonna be a lot of fun. Now, I'm not one of these rock crawling type guys. My style of four-wheel driving has always been touring, but I've seen a lot of footage and I've followed through on what the Jeeps are capable of. And with that real short wheelbase and no overhang, I knew that there were going to be something completely different than anything I've driven before. I'm used to the big super tourists, and I know the limitations with the departure angles on those cars. Easy down there, guys. So after the zip lining, the boys got to go out wheeling. Unfortunately for me, Amelia decided that her cough was a little bit more serious. One visit to the hospital, two and a half thousand dollars later, and a prescription for an asthma puffer, my day was ruined. You know what's good about these Jeeps, this short wheelbase, because if I tried to do this in the 200, I'd rip the arse out of the day. How you going, darling? Good. We're going down. With the short wheelbase. You just had that left wheel right up in the guard. But we're almost vertical there, eh? Yeah, dude, I'm digging the whole Jeep thing, eh? Now, as everybody knows, we're really well known for our Toyotas. And back in Australia, the Jeeps, they cop a fair bit of flack. But I can tell you, and I'm proud to say it, I'm definitely converting to a Jeep man. Maddie's been a bit quiet on the radio. Maybe it's not just heights that he's nervous about. These tracks are slippery and steep. The crew have been exploring the four-wheel drive tracks around Moab, Utah. It's the first real four-wheel driving behind the wheels of the Jeep Wranglers, and Justin's mate Maddie is being extra cautious. Now, Maddie, he's honestly the guy that got me into four-wheel driving. Me and him have been doing it for a long time together, and he's into all that hardcore stuff. But one thing about Matt, he doesn't ever go over the line. He knows where the line is, he's very, very cautious and very calculated in everything he does. Sometimes, you just got to give him a little bit of a push. <laughs> I'm talking to you on the CV, mate. <laughs> hey, Justin. <laughs> Bobby, get off the track so these guys can get through. Get Look, we've all got different personalities out on these trips. When you go out with the Monty Salvos, there's usually one of us that's going to break something. When you've got a personality like Matt's, he's a little bit more calculated, but he always gets the job done. It's pretty cool you can camp out here. Might have a hard time getting the motorhomes in here, though. Are you doing lockers or no lockers? My mates always give me grief about being Mr. Precautious, but at the end of the day, I'll be the one that gets to the top of the hill. Now, back in Australia, we have some pretty wild country, and I've seen a lot of it, but I've never experienced anything like Moab. It is literally like being on another planet. Now I'm kind of starting to understand also why the Americans are so patriotic to their country. There's so much diversity in landscape there, and Moab, if you've never been there before, I suggest you put it on the top of your list. 
Did you read on the hire company what we weren't and weren't allowed to do? Uh, no. Did you? No, did you? Oh. Oh, I didn't say anything that said what we weren't allowed to do. I, I did. It's... Well, what you guys aren't allowed to do, I can do what I want. Well, they are under your name and your credit card, so yeah, I can do whatever I want. As the boys venture onto the open tracks, it's not long before they're confronted by their first serious section of slick rock. Come on, here we go, a bit of slick rock. Let's all do this together. Hopefully I don't roll back and slide into one of yours. I love it when I love it. Uh, I've only got a rear locker, so I'm gonna put that in for this, I think. Rightio, we'll just do that too. This is up your ass, Bobby. <laughs> Dude, these little jeeps are gnarly. Honestly, we would have destroyed a, a, a Land Cruiser by now, eh? Would have ripped the front and a rear bar off. When I'm looking behind me in the rear view mirrors, you're seeing axles flexing up into the guards, springs compressing, those big wide stance, the offset wheels. They're like mountain goats. There is nothing that you can throw at these jeeps that they can't handle. Wait, that seriously was 10 times easier than I was expecting. Getting behind the wheels of one of these jeeps absolutely blew me away. They do not slip and there is nothing they can't get up. Justin's always doing all the cool stuff with the twins. Mia does miss out sometimes and get stuck with mum. It was really nice to see them have a bit of a moment and go out wheeling together. Mia, does that look scary? It looks like we're going to just drop over the edge, doesn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Looks like we're, just, like we're just going to go off a cliff. Yeah, let's choose that. Going down, Seeks. Yeah. Going down, Seeks. How's the Oh! Sounds bad, no, not scared at all. No. Not even a little bit. No. no. I thought it was a I wish you were. Everyone's always wanted Mia to be the pretty little girl of the group, but when she gets out here and surrounded by all the boys, she just wants to be one of us. She's always prepared to jump in and give everything a go. My daughter Heidi's two years old now. The first time I took her camping, she was three months old. With our group of mates, having kids with us doesn't hold us back. See it from where I'm sitting, but I can feel it. If which man is in the rear view, man? What's your mustache like on axle wheels are in? What do you reckon? It's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty good. I think we do still need to get you behind the wheel. I know, right? So you can steer this. Yeah, Maybe we'll do this on one of the next ones and not tell your dad. Yeah. These Jews make light work of it. Oh! <laughs> After first jumping in one of these Jeeps, I was well impressed with how they performed off-road. It's not something I'd have back at home, but in Moab, this thing's perfect. So, Matty, has your opinion changed on Jeeps or what, dude? Yeah, it has. I've got to be honest. Would you buy a Jeep? I'm spewing the uh, repaired mud, because um, I'm going to have to try to sell that thing now. Back at home, I've got a pretty capable 100 Series Land Cruiser nicknamed Mud. If I had that thing out here, it'd be getting hung up all over the place. Yeah, get rid of mud. Let's build a couple of dope Jeeps, man. Justin and Maddie are sold on the Jeep thing, and the team make their way back, covering varied and spectacular terrain. But taking a wrong turn around here can lead you into some pretty crazy situations. We always seem to have a habit of taking the wrong turn and ending up in weird places. But this time, we managed to find something really cool. Now, Moab, obviously, it's all about four-wheel driving. But at the Easter Jeep Safari, it just turns into this whole other level. And we ended up down at this little wild party going on with these rock crawlers and things that I've seen back in Australia 
but not to this level, not at a social level, these guys do it on the weekends. No helmets, no high-vis, no, nobody marking off the roads. Everybody's there to have a good time, and the cops are even there to have a good time. They're controlling the whole situation, but these guys are getting buck wild. Back in Australia, we would never get away with this. Was this on the do not drive list in the rental place? What? This, this, hill? this hill? Nah, well, I didn't say it. I'll drive straight down it. Is there a do not drive list? Yeah, there yeah. was on the wall. Was it? Yeah, but they didn't tell us about it. We saw it, we just ignored it. After seeing one of the rock crawlers tackle the massive rock climb, Justin has an idea to make the twins' birthday even more amazing. Watch your eyes. It's my boy's 13th birthday. Can you take one of them? Let's go. Take him for a run. Ashton, get in. Let's go. Come on. There you go, buddy. <laughs> They're twins too. There's two of them. Sure enough, typical USA fashion, everybody's accommodating to us. The twins jump in, and here's a ride they're never going to forget. Boys, are you excited or scared? Excited. Um, you look like you're shitting yourself. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Have a ball, don't kill him. I need him back. OK, we'll bring him back at one piece. All right, stand back. Everyone stand back. The twins have always been excited by anything that has a motor to it. There isn't much that they haven't done. And seeing their faces when they jumped into that rock crawler, I knew they were going to love this one. The boys are used to some crazy driving when they're with their dad. But I don't think even they were prepared for what just happened. The first thing I thought of, there's no way you'd have this back at home. There'd be that much safety in place that just wouldn't even happen from the start. If anything happens, hang on to your straps right here, boys. OK. OK? Yeah. Go ahead and hang on there right now. Hang on to those, we'll be gold. Okay. Even if we go over, you'll be gold. OK. All right. How'd you go? All good, man? <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon, boys? Is that awesome? Yeah, it's awesome. Man, what is, what's in this thing? What mode is in it? Just a Chevy 350. Just a Chevy 350, like whatever. <laughs> like pretty normal, man. That was awesome. I reckon you made that day. Thank you. You're welcome. Dave, was that awesome or yeah, what? Yeah, that was sick. You got to go on a full-blown rock crawler for your birthday. With the fins and things tracked, done and dusted, it's time to head back to camp, where Bobby and Jamie have one last surprise for their twin nephews. Now, the boys have already had a pretty good run this birthday. They got some pretty good gifts. But when we got back into the RV park, Uncle Jamie and Uncle Bobby, they had one up their sleeve. Boys, you didn't think your birthday was uh -huh. over, did you? What's that? Well, what do you think it is? So after my exciting day at the hospital, it was my turn to blow off some steam and I decided to head into town. Going past one of the hardware stores, I saw some BB guns and thought, you know what? Twins' birthdays, no consequences for me. I'm going to be that bad uncle. Those boys are getting some BB guns. There's something wrong. You've got to get the card off. I know that. First. Okay. No, no, you're not to open it. Sammy, pass me the card. Here, Sammy. Jeez, when I was your age, I didn't read the card. No. Really? I love cards. I love cards. It's they so love good. Cards. I like I toys. I love cards. Come on, get in on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yes. yeah. They gave the boys a couple of BB guns, which Mum's probably not real happy about, but on the upside, they can't make it back to Australia. Thank Thanks, you. Uncle Bobby and Jamie, and Auntie Emily, and Amelia, and Amelia, and, 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 and Dizzle. Seven Dizzle. And Matt for just being here. And me. Yeah. And me for giving him an Elsa card. Yep, yep. Yes. Thanks, Matt, for getting involved. <laughs> no worries. Today's been pretty much all about the twins and their epic 13th birthday, but there's one little girl, Mia, who's been waiting all day for her schmores, so we had to get them out for her. Okay, you've got to be really careful. Hello, 
wants what? I don't know how this what? is going to work. No, I just cracked my graham cracker. I need a new one. To make s'mores, you roast marshmallows, put them on graham crackers and add chocolate. Do it, do it. that's just going to happen to mine. Oh, my God. Mine don't fit. No, it's mine. I'm pretty sure you melt the marshmallow. There we go. You need to melt the chocolate with it. Why it fits perfectly? No, because the chocolate's meant to melt as well. It might have been Mia's idea, but I think I was a little bit more excited than some of the kids were when they started pulling out that chocolate, graham crackers and marshmallow. Well, mine's good. <laughs> I'm going on top of these two. Wait, you grab yours first. Ah! It's all melted in there. I clearly didn't have an idea of what I was doing. Listening to the boys and trying to cook it in that beer can probably wasn't the best idea. Oh, it's coming. Oh, the chocolate came out. OK, I need a scissors or a knife. Where's my Leatherman? I think mine's on fire. No, it's not. It's good. It's good. Hey, can I have a good one, babe? Kira, can you please make me one? Can I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I have triple biscuit and double chocolate? So Justin, everyone knows he takes everything to that next level and put chocolate in front of him, it's the exact same story. Well, I've never made a small before, but I'm pretty sure the chocolate needs to be melted. <laughs> <laughs> the the one to eat. <laughs> no. OK, so tell me, what are you doing? Making s'mores. What are s'mores? Um, graham cracker, marshmallow and chocolate. Where did you get this idea from? YouTube. <laughs> Babe, yeah. have you had one? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, it needs to be on cookie though. But it kind of is a cookie. No, it needs to be on cookie. Hold on. You're a pregnant woman I gotta feed, babe. You don't have a pregnant woman to feed. I got a pregnant Benny. I got a pregnant Benny to feed. Benny ain't pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Just fat. It's been in America for too long. Oh, they're burning. Sucked. It's like plastic. So my babies are now 13. They're teenagers. I can't believe it. What a day. We've had the best adventures with all our friends and family. I couldn't imagine spending it any other way. This is one for the family book. It's a new day in the desert. And as the sun rises over the red rocks of Utah, the Patriot Campers team decide it's time to see how the camper trailers will handle on USA soil. So it's off to Gemini Bridges. Now, the day before we were out, we seen a little bit more of the scenery in Moab. And I had in the back of my mind, I don't know what it's going to be like towing the camper trailer through this. So on this morning, it was really time for Patriot campers to shine and show the world what we're capable of. Boys, pretty epic scenery, eh? Looking forward to having a look through this one. So this is going to be the Patriot's first test on US ground. Can't get much of a better spot for it. How's that X2 feel behind the two-door, Jamie? What XP? You can't even know it's back there. Yeah, bitchin'. Matty, how are you feeling? Good, mate. No worries at all. Can't even feel it, to be honest. So what's the deal with the girls? Matty, you couldn't get Kira up this morning? Oh, uh, it's a bit early. It's a bit hard with the baby, but it's also a bit a bit rough for the um, body, I reckon, sitting in the baby seat, bouncing around. Yeah, same with Emily too, Bobby. Hey, eh, babe, pregnant, probably not a good idea, yeah. Yeah, it's not nice to have her bouncing around on this, and Seb would have been sound asleep holding his little head still. It'd be a bit hard. The Patriot Campers range is based on touring. It's not really based for the hardcore off-roading, although we know what our trailers are capable of. But today, we were going to push everything to the limits. I'll tell you what, it's one thing this place has in common with Australia, at least the top of Australia, is all this bloody red dirt. Yeah, it does feel kind of Central Australia, eh? It really does. It seems a lot finer over here too and doesn't seem to stick to everything like home. The dirt. Yeah. Yeah, that's because it's so dry. There's no humidity to make it stick to your car. The driving up to Gemini Bridges that day in that scenery, once again, it was like nothing we'd ever seen before. It was actually completely different to the scenery we'd seen the day before and we were just on the other side of the highway. Pretty epic view up here. This is amazing. Taking the trailers up that ridge onto the first track, it was just an absolutely epic feeling. We we're going to put the trailers through the paces and prove to the United States market what Australian manufacturing is really all about. This 
Does this wrap right around this ridge line? Yeah, so I can see where it goes. It goes right up the top and then it banks right and must, um, must switch up, up the mountain there. Now we're cruising through terrain that I've only ever seen in the movies. This is another unbelievable feeling and a monumental moment for the company. I've got the whole family with me, three of my products, we're driving up this ridge with a sheer drop down on one side and our little camper trailers are soaking up everything that this country can throw at them. This G is so smooth, I can't believe it. Mate, so is this one. Like, it's unbelievable. Matty Matt changes chew. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like a Jeep fan now. Matt, we're going to Jeep when we get home. We're going to go buy two of them, all right? That view there is pretty specky, boys, eh? This is gnarly up here, man. Look at this. I lived in the States for seven years and spent most of my time in California. Did a fair bit of wheeling over there and got to see the scenery there. But coming over to this side of the country, to Moab, especially Gemini Bridges, it was like nothing I could have possibly thought of. The crew have conquered their first major ridgeline and proceed through the canyons en route to Gemini Bridges. The breathtaking landscape keeps getting bigger and better. But even spectacular scenery isn't enough to distract the boys from giving Maddie a G up. Apparently Matt's back on the team. Apparently Matt's back. He's feeling a lot better. <coughs> Matt, are you going to go up the Cranberry Joe's now and start drinking? Matt's back, my <laughs> whoop, whoop. Have you got any cranberry juice left? Nah, it's all gone. Drank it all. And so you're on to the Jamison now? Yep, back on the Jamisons. Sip on, sip on, Matty. What's this upon shit? I've never heard it before. Because you bagged it, you're scared of hot. Ah, now we get it. Zipping down, Kara. Zip on, zip on, Kara. Matty's he's been listening to Mariah Carey. Unchanging nappies. We were talking about you yesterday when we were all up there on the zip line. <laughs> you, were, you were back in the RV, breastfeeding Heidi and listening to Alanis Morissette. <laughs> <laughs> it's not far from the truth. Who needs zip lining? Me and Heidi were having our own party. <laughs> Everybody had this picture. Someone said, no, he's probably nude wearing an apron cooking dinner. <laughs> the crew from Patriot Campers are driving the windy, rocky and dusty roads toward Gemini Bridges in Moab, Utah. Gemini is one of the most iconic destinations in the Moab desert. And Justin is putting his award-winning camper trailers to the test. The R&D at Patriot Campers, it's real time, it's real life, you know, it's real situations that anybody can go through. And when I push my gear to the limits and now it comes out the other side, then it puts us in the position that we have total confidence in everything that we do. Hey, Jamie, you there? There's a sweet little ridge here on the right, man. Give that a climb. Yeah, it looks like a bit of fun. I should locks in. Oh, the blues, the blues where it's at. You got both lockers in? Yeah, lockers are on. <laughs> too easy. Oh, dude, good angle. Way too easy, man. I'll give it a little crack, eh? Yeah. <laughs> These Jeeps. These Jeeps are just ridiculous. What is it, the short wheelbase? Yeah, it's it's short wheelbase, it's but rocket. all the wheels are in, in right push right at the front and the back of the truck. Yeah. So you get no hang up. The X1's been around now for about four years. It's pretty well tried and tested, but not on terrain like this. What I was really looking at, what I was focusing on this day, was the little X2. Now this is the real first outing that the X2's had in this type of terrain. And it was absolutely amazing to see the difference between the two trailers. Now for this trip, it wasn't about staying in the camper trailers. I got my brand new toy, the 40 foot motorhome, 
and that's what I wanted to experience. So we're taking the trailers out on whatever trips we can just to prove them on US soil. All right, boys, here we are, Gemini Bridges. This is the car park, and then, Matty, we've got to go for a walk, dude. Justin, that wasn't part of the deal. We talked about this. That wasn't part of the deal. You can wait in the car park if you like. Matty's got his good walking shoes on. You have got your new good shoes on there, Matt. <laughs> That's true. We should give him a workout. You can definitely give him a go. Walmart, 15 bucks. All right, darling, you ready for a walk? Yep. Yeah, get your shoes on. Let's go. On. Let's go check this out. The team have finally made it to Gemini Bridges. Everyone is excited to see this iconic destination, except maybe for one. <clears throat> so how long is this walk, Justin? It's like five to ten minutes. Wait, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kind of a dysfunctional family, and I love to rip it into Matt. And when he came out with those Walmart shoes on, he just opened himself up for it. Great. No, he got his $18 hiking $14, boots. $14, Sarah. <laughs> 14. Yeah, these are the $14 sneakers. No, no, they're just 14 full retail. I didn't even try to knock them down. <laughs> no, they're my socks. As we're walking down to one of the arches, we could see a massive drop off the cliff. Now, Jamie and Bobby, they were attracted to it straight away. They're sitting on the ledge. I knew we were going to have some fun with Matty here. That guy is petrified of heights. Oh, my God. Matt, Ashton. come and have a look. No way. Matt, come down no. here. Come and have a look. Just come and have a look. <laughs> so don't even Do play Do you want me to up, hold dude. your hand? No. Just come down. No come on. Just nope. come close. Nope. Come on, Sarah, Matty. I'll take you down. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come down. I'm not going. No. No way. Nope. Nope. Just, nope. Come, nope. just come and nope. have a quick look. No we way. won't go further no, no, than no, no, you're prepared. No, 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 Don't no, no, push no, no, no. him. As much as I love to pick on Matt, I probably should have backed off a bit. But then I thought if Kira was here, she would have given it to him heaps worse. Well, just come, just come and have a look from here. No. No, it's not happening. Just from there? No. Not happening. Here, Matt. Matt. <clears throat> not happening. Unless you're scared of heights, you just won't understand. But it doesn't matter how much they push me, I'm just not going to go near the edge. <laughs> the size of you. Come and have a quick look. That's the problem. I'm, I feel like I'm top heavy, I'm going to tumble over. <laughs> you feel like you're going to end up in there. That's really cool. <laughs> Matt, Matt, mm. stand on the end. Nope. Hey, come and have a look over here. All right, Matty, you got a fair fear of heights. Tell us about your fear, mate. Where does it come from? <laughs> well, it comes from an inner feeling of wanting to jump off the edge. Now, I don't know where that comes from, but that's, where, that's what it feels like. It feels like if I get close, I want to jump. So what, what happens What happens to your body when you start getting close to a high, somewhere you feel uncomfortable? Oh, I start freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I try to control it, but I can only do it for short periods of time. Yeah. <laughs> do you think holding on to that tree right now is going to save you? Oh, it's making me feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what are you dealing with, Matt? Oh, I've got no idea. <laughs> This is probably about the time to talk about it. <laughs> if you want to discuss it with your mates, Matt, Matt, if you want to talk about it with your mates now, it's time to do it, dude. Oh, I see a minute facing this way. <laughs> you are wearing a nice survive shirt. <clears throat> you did, you survived, Matt. <laughs> now, picking on my mates' weaknesses, that's something that I really enjoy doing and something that the whole team's pretty good at. We just kept going at him, going at him, and sure enough, we got him close enough to the edge. Funny thing was, he could only stay there for a short period of time. Find a rock, sit down, and we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're proud of you, Matt. <clears throat> Matt, you're the man. I've been to a lot of pretty cool destinations with four-wheel drive, but I can tell you one thing, I've never experienced anything like this before. We could be absolutely anywhere. After the past few days of travelling and finally getting to spend some good time with friends and family, it was really, really good to make it to Gemini Bridges, sit down on that ledge and come to the realisation that we finally all made it to the States. The access that the state gives you to get to destinations like this is pretty incredible. Now, back in Australia, we're fairly restricted and I know if we had an area like this, there'd be a lot going on around safety and you probably couldn't get as close to experiencing what it's really like as you can in Moab. The team spend the rest of the day soaking in the spectacular scenery around Gemini Bridges. It doesn't matter where you look, you've got postcard views in every direction. Not a bad item to tick off the bucket list. Next time on Patriot Games. 
Justin surprises everyone with some pretty cool off-road gear. We're going buggy, who's coming? The Jeep Convoy tackle Moab Rim, one of the craziest ridgelines in Moab. No. That's crazy. But Maddie and Justin don't see eye to eye. Oh, dude, I, I hear you. I hear you, but I don't know why everyone was yelling at me. I'm like, yeah, cool, dude, I got it. The international R&D trip continues for the Patriot Campers trailers. Honestly, if that trailer goes, dude, we're going off this bank, eh? Hey? As they're put through unfamiliar terrain and amazing scenery. 